I'm glad you're all in a good mood tonight because that's important for a young comedian who's making his very first appearance on The Tonight Show. And Rich is going to be seeing this September on the annual Young Comedian Special on HBO. And he'll be performing in New York City at Caroline's at the Seaport uh, August the 11th through the 14th. Would you welcome, please, Richard Jenny. Richard! <laughs> Hello. hello! Hello! Hello, You're in a great mood. Do you like this suit? Do you think I should have worn this? Yeah! Uh, I don't know. It fits good, but it takes so long to wax it. <laughs> it's a New York suit. I'm a New York guy. That's where I got it. I just came back from there performing. That was fun. And then after that, I went up to Canada. Canada's just like New York backwards, isn't it? You go up there, everybody's going, how's it going, eh? Then you go back to New York and the people, hey, how's it going? It's like the same thing. <laughs> Get off the car. Get off the car, eh? It's like the same thing. <laughs> and I went down to Miami, had a good time. That's fun. You get on a, yeah, a couple of people. You get down there, they have the Hispanic thing going on a plane. You get on a plane and they're like, uh, for your convenience, we have air sickness bags. And someone else goes, they always have the colors de barfo. They always have the same. I think if the plane crashes, they'll have to do that. They'll have to be going, we're about to crash. And Por favor, kiss your butt, buenas noches. <laughs> I had a good time, though. I, it just gets lonely on the road, boy. You just, there's nothing. You know you can tell you're getting lonely? When you're sitting in your hotel going, gee, I never noticed it before, but Wilma Flintstone doesn't have a bad body. <laughs> and your, friend, your friends are going, you're just lonely. You go, no, really. She's no Judy Jetson, but she's attractive. <laughs> and please, sir. Hey, she was good. I got, thank you. I got so desperate for something to do one night. I actually went to the video store. Listen to this. I rented all four Jaws movies in a row. <laughs> this is a little point in your life. When it's like 4.45, you're watching Jaws for the Revenge. That's the title. Jaws for the Revenge. And you're sitting there going, this shouldn't be the title. The title should be, here's a fish, you're stupid. That's the title. <laughs> you, you, ever, you ever see a movie like so bad that they just slap you in the face with how bad it is? You can't even pretend. You go, you know, maybe this movie isn't that bad. I'm not wasting my life. And they just go, yes, you are. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. Look at you. It's four in the morning. You're sitting there with one sweat sock and a burrito watching a shark that only kills one family out of an entire ocean full of perfectly edible people for no reason that we ever explain. And you won't turn it off because you think it's going to get better. Right? Sit there. A movie. I'm still in pain this. A movie so stupid that no matter how stupid, you couldn't be stupid enough to enjoy it. I mean, let's say you have no brain at all. Let's say you're sitting on your bed, here's you. A bucket of popcorn and a spinal cord, that's it. Even your spinal cord will go, hey, 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 hey. I'm not a brain, I don't have thoughts, but what is going on here? The mother of the family, check this out, has three people in her family eaten by the shark in one week. So a genius in her own right, she comes up with a plan. She says, well, shark is obviously after our family. Can't put anything over on me. It's only one thing to do, we'll have to leave town. <laughs> and you go, and leave town? But wouldn't an apartment building be sufficient protection from the average shark? I mean, even if he's a really ambitious shark, right? Let's say, by the time he gets to the apartment building, parks in the guest spot, explains himself to the doorman, come up in the elevator, you would most likely smell fish and run. No, the mother is leaving town altogether. And you sit there. And you're going, but why doesn't the mother just not go in the water? Wouldn't that make more sense? And they go, well, ordinarily, yeah, but this is stupid. You see, in a stupid movie, everyone's stupid. The mother is stupid, the people that made it are stupid, but none of them are as stupid as you, because it is now 5.01, and you still think this is going to get better. So now, I mean... <laughs> the fish is coming up with plans to kill these people that the CIA couldn't figure out. I've caught fish. They're not that brilliant. <laughs> they don't even make any noise when you're about to kill them. You ever see a fish come up on a hook going... If they had any brains, they'd make noise. You wouldn't be able to kill them. They'd be going... Ah! 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 And you have to go, whoa! Start the boat. I'll get a burger at the dock. Did you see what just took place over there? So now comes a turning point in your life. If you don't turn off the movie now, just do the world a favor, and when the credits roll, get a vasectomy. The mother gets on a plane to get away from the shark, but before she goes, has an affair with Michael Caine. Typical reaction to this kind of tragedy. That's what I would do. 
Most people would say, gee whiz, three people in my family have been eaten by a shark in one week. Jeez, am I horny. Man, I don't know. Man, why don't... Gee. My goodness. Ooh. Ooh, God. Ooh. The death. Ooh. Ooh, the tragedy, the bloodshed. Stop me, I'm vibrating. Where's a blow-up doll when you need one? Who, I mean... So now, th get this, here's the crescendo. The mother gets on a plane in Long Island, New York to get away from the shark. Flies to the Bahamas. Are you with me here? An ideal place to avoid a fish. <laughs> Small island surrounded by water. When she gets there, guess what? Not only has the shark discovered that they have travel plans to go to the Bahamas, but to boot, he has beat the jet to the Bahamas. <laughs> they land, there he is, couple of beers, Ray-Bans, and you're going, but wait a minute, that was a jet. Wouldn't a jet be faster than a shark? And they go, well, ordinarily, but again, this is stupid. You see, in a stupid movie, shark is the fastest transportation available. See, if you're going to London from New York, let's say, right? Tear up them Concord tickets, get the next fish out of town.